Well, this weekend, dozens of people will be competing in the Braille Challenge at USC, and the event is the only academic competition of its kind held in North America for students who are blind or visually impaired. And we're joined by Danny Olvera, who's with the Braille Institute of Los Angeles, and Lynn Wu, a finalist in the varsity division. I want to welcome you both here. And Lynn, welcome back. You were here a while back talking about uh, the competition. And Danny, if you could explain to folks that don't know, what is the Braille Challenge? Yeah, so Braille Challenge really is, like you said, one of the only academic competitions of its kind in the United States and United Kingdom. And it was designed to really um, help students learn Braille. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, only about 10% of school age students are literate in Braille. Hmm. And so it's something that we really wanted to tackle. Um, so we encourage students as young as those in first grade all the mm -hmm. way up until high school uh, to really hone their Braille skills. Uh, and so we do that with five different competitions within mm -hmm. the Braille Challenge. And Lynn can kind of tell you which competitions we have um, and which ones are her favorite. Okay. Um, but yeah, they're very, very competitive. Well, I have to say though, I'm really surprised to hear that only 10% of students learn Braille. Lynn, is it, is it really difficult? Is that, I mean, is that why, do you think? I think it's mainly a lack of resources. Like not all districts have um, teachers for the visually impaired to teach students Braille mm -hmm. or that people aren't aware of just how important Braille is to academic and employment success. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a little bit about the competition? Yeah, so for the competition, when you do it, there's five different categories depending on um, what age division you're in. Mm -hmm. So for the um, higher divisions, you have speed and accuracy where you listen to a recording and you type out exactly what you hear, including the words and punctuation. Uh -huh. And then there's reading comprehension, which you read passages and then you answer questions about the passages. And then there's proofreading where you find mistakes in um, sentences and charts and graphs where you read um, charts and graphs and answer questions about them. But for the lower divisions, there's also uh, spelling but they don't have uh, charts and graphs. Okay, and um, how have you been getting ready? Because you're in one of the older categories. You're about to be a senior in high school, right? Yeah, I am. So for me, I practice all year long. Like through school, if I take notes, complete assignments, I'm practicing the Braille literacy, literacy skills tested in the Braille Challenge, but I also do the past competition materials that Braille Institute posts online for the Braille Challenge which I appreciate because I find them really helpful for practicing. And do a lot of people come out and support the students for the competition? Is it open for people to just come and cheer them on? We have uh, mostly families that show up. Um, so for Braille Challenge Finals this weekend, we have students from uh, all over the United States and some from Canada. And so some of their family will also join them to support. Mm -hmm. And uh, are there big prizes for winners or is it just bragging rights? Well, bragging rights, I think for sure, mm -hmm. all the students love, but we do, uh, we are able to provide some prizes for um, some of our finalists. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Lynn, tell me, what do you have planned for next year as you begin your senior year, high school? Um, well, I'm getting a guide dog the weekend oh. after Braille Challenge, which I'm really excited about. So I'm definitely going to enjoy like bringing a guide dog to school to help me get around campus and also just to, um, you know, meet other people. And then just to hang out with friends and participate in activities because it will be my last year in high school. Yeah, do you know what kind of dog you'll get? No, they keep it a surprise. Oh. Uh, well, I'm the mom of a black lab, so I'm hoping, you know, secretly It might be a lab. Yeah, I hope so, <laughs> they're wonderful. Thank you both for joining us. We certainly appreciate your time and good luck in the competition. And of course, you can find more information about the Braille Challenge by going to our website, kcalnews.com and clicking Scene on TV.